Hi, I'm Jackie Topa. I'm going to show you how to make this lit frame using some Stampin' Up! punches and dies and these cute little mason jar shaker domes. So I used a 12 by 12 canvas. I got mine from the dollar store and it just is hollow in the back so it made room for, um, for the controller for the lights. So this is what it looks like in the back. Um, I just used some paint that I had already, but you can buy uh, just acrylic paint at the dollar store. And I painted the edges. Paint one side a little bit higher. This was kind of an experiment. Uh, if you don't have paint, or if you're using um, a DSP that you needed to match up colors, uh, what I did is I tried, like there you can see, that's what it looks like when you just sponge. And then I tried it with, this was with uh, sponging, and then I wet it. And then I added some more ink, just with my sponge, and that was how it turned out. So if you didn't want to paint, that's also an option. So I used a sheet of DSP. This is from, I um, can't think of it, In Good Taste, and I cut it 11 by 11. So on the back of my paper, I want mine running this way, so I'm going to do my jars up and down. Uh, let's see, so center, so that's about five and a half. And I'm going to punch one jar in the center. He's a little off, I don't think anyone would notice. But, and then depending on what you're doing, oh, he's kind of pretty. Anyway, depending on what you're doing, I think I might want my other one maybe maybe right about there. I took a piece of cardstock. This is just a, a half a sheet, so eleven by uh, four and a quarter. And I wanted my DSP a little more stable, so I just tried to get as close to the jar as I could there. And then I'll just do around the outside. I use Tombow for everything, so you can use your favorite adhesive. And I'm going to glue that on there. This just made it a little bit more sturdy. Um, I'm not sure how stiff that would be like on, on the canvas. Oops, got a little bit of glue in there. So then what I did is I just kind of lined it up with my punch and I punched those holes in the same spot again. And I don't like my white lines so I took a sponge and I just did that and I got rid of those. And one side I left a little bit higher, that's going to be my bottom. So you're going to just kind of center your, um, center your paper on there. And then I took a pencil and traced the jars. want to know where the placement is for those. And then I took a utility knife. Sorry, I have to do everything at an angle. So I took a utility knife and I cut just a little bit bigger than the jar. I guess you might want a cutting, cutting mat or cutting board underneath this. I'm going to go a little bit farther. And only cut three sides. Leave the bottom uh, as it is. I'll show you why in a sec. So my, I'm cutting also right down to the board. Oops, I didn't quite get that corner. So then what I did, so when you look in the jar, I didn't want to be able to see the raw wood. So then I'm going to pull this, each of these flaps around to the back. And then I'm going to glue it there, and then I'll just like trim, trim off the excess. Okay, I'm going to show you quickly how I did the leaves. 
We are um, from the Birds and Branches dies. So some of them, um, you'll see there's like a front and a back. And so some of these I did one way and then some of them I did, you, you probably can't tell from there, but um, I did them both ways anyway. Go back after you're done, and if there are any little spots, just like touch them up. And I didn't want the berries just to be white, so I used my gray marker and I just did a little, just a little circle, half circle, I guess. And then I also added some Winca Stella to those. So you just do all your leaves. And then for the flowers, I didn't use the stamp. I used the Blossoms Punch. And what I did, after I punched out my flowers, I used my watercolor pencil, the white one, and I just kind of did like a little thing in the middle. And then I, I went up a little more uh, on each petal. The reason I did that is because I liked how it looked when I sponged it. So then I took this, my sponge and my Mary Merlot. Oh, it's not going to slide. It's new, so it doesn't slide very well. So I'm just going to leave it open for a sec. And I just sponge the edge with the dauber. But if you kind of get on the white a little bit, it kind of takes on some of the color. But it stays lighter still. I liked it. So that's why I did my flowers. Oh, and then I added, I don't know if you can see that, just a little Wink of Stella in the center. Okay, so I've got all three of my holes cut and glued. So now I'm ready for the next step. You're going to take your, your paper, I'll set my frame aside for a minute, and you are going to stick your jars on. Oops, so leave the back on for now and take off the front. Um, the front backing, easier said than done, and you're going to stick your jars in, in place. Okay, once you have all your jars in, and then you're going to peel the backings off. And then we're going to glue it to the frame. So I'm just going to use combo. So if you don't have it right to the edge, it'll um, it'll kind of peel and stick up and you don't really want that. So I think I got a fair amount of glue on there. And what I did is, because this is all not going to matter, I just took my bone folder and pulled the glue out. Just make sure you don't get it on the front. And make sure you wash your bone folder after. Okay. I'm going to center that and glue it down. I want to make sure that's stuck down well. So on the back, oops. Going a little bit, so I'm just going to peel that back a bit there. So on the back, where you can see the uh, sticky, it's not really going to matter because it's going to kind of help hold our lights in place. So I have a set of lights. Uh, you can get them on Amazon. I bought mine at Costco. Uh, but if you search fairy lights, you'll see quite a few different ones. And mine come on the same time 
uh, every day. So if I start them at, you know, say 10 o'clock, they would com come on every night at 10 o'clock. And they stay on for six hours. So what I did is I just kind of took like a third of the lights, scrunched it up, because these are all on wire. And I tried to kind of get it all in there. And the next bunch, that looks like about a third. Okay, when you think you've got them all in, I have my glue gun and have two and three quarter inch squares. So what I did is I just went with my glue gun. Oops, it's a little heavy. <laughs> Doing one square at a time. I just did that. Be careful because it's still a little bit hot. Oops, get in there. Okay, to attach your control panel, mine has this little loop at the top, so I just stuck a little ribbon through there. I marked the center of my frame. Um, I wanted it centered just because of the weight. I don't know if it'll matter or not, but I'm just going to glue that down. Oops. Without touching my fingers in it. Bring back uh, memories. Of my crafting days. I, just, I always have blisters on my fingers from the hot glue gun. And then I just took a stapler and this wood is so soft it was easy to staple right into it. Probably don't even need the hot glue but I thought just in case my ribbon frays and it rips. And then, oops, not sure why he only kind of pulled. And then I put some glue on the back of this just so it wasn't swinging. My glue's not, it's probably not really hot yet. There you go. Now the excess wire, I just kind of stuffed behind the frame here. To hold it in place. I don't want to glue it because I'm not sure if that's a good idea or not. And then the front. You're going to bring back your branches. And I just kind of laid my branches out so you're going to have extra. So you don't want them all identical. So this is one that's going the other way. And then I cut some of them at different lengths, like this one. I think I I would trim that down just so he's a little shorter and then I'll and then one branch I had so I could just kind of cut it up and just stick them. So glue them down once you get them in place. Put your flowers wherever you want them. Some of the flowers I popped with um, the small dimensionals. So you just stick those on. That was an inch in from the DSP. This is an inch in from this side. Hopefully that's a straight line. I'm not going to stick them down really hard, just in case I have to move them. So that's two inches from there. And then I'll just center these. I'll do my M, and I'll put that one there. And the letters I cut out of, I wanted them a little bit thicker. So rather than cardstock, I used um, the piece that comes with the DSP. And I think that's it, and then you're done your frame.